Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, and there is so much promise, so much possibility, and it just gets better and better the later and later in the month we get. But it is rare to have two new moons in a single month like we do now. And this represents new energy, new possibilities, and a sense of brand new beginnings. So that is a huge signature taking place of this month. But the nature of the two new moons, very different. And for you, especially how they will be experienced, we very different as well. So let's start with the first new moon. That is taking place on the first of the month. Now you wanna give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. There are a few people who will experience this new moon very late in the day on the 31st of July. So this is energy we are carrying into this month as we begin. And it is going to be this new moon that is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships and groups that you belong to. Now, this new moon is happening close in the sky with Venus. That in and of itself is good. That is a very loving energy. New moons and full moons for that matter tend to carry an emotional signature. And so love and emotion seems to fit very well together, right? However, it is going to be this new moon that is also speaking in a conversation of tension with Uranus. Now this can suggest some feelings of frustration or some changes that might feel challenging at first, but they can also be really invigorating. They can motivate us to put in the time, to put in the work, to earn the change which we desire. Now for you, this is happening in a part of the sky. As I said, it has to do with friendships, groups you belong to, group endeavors, whether personal or professional are covered here. And it looks like you are wanting to experience change in your life. Now, it may be a desire to experience better uh, opportunities, better work-related circumstances, better career-related circumstances. It could very well be financial as well. There is a belief on your part that if it is that you participate with group endeavors, in some way it will benefit you financially, whether directly or indirectly. But there is this desire now, there is this focus now on wanting to make some progress where it comes to the people that you're connecting to and where it is that you are participating. Now, this can also take a more personal level as well. And I say this because of the position of Uranus. As I spoke of in the Uranus special for your sign, where Uranus is slowly but surely moving through is a part of the sky that, yes, has to do with financial matters. I covered that just now. But it also has to do with meaningful change and being more honest with yourself. And considering how it is that Uranus is speaking with this new moon, joining a support group of some kind might also be something that you are considering as we start this month. And so there is this challenging energy there, but also this promise that if it is that you're motivated, if it is that you put in the work, put in the time, you can experience profound change, the kind of which you probably will like very much, the kind of which that will allow you to be more you, allow you to step into a truth of yourself more than you have known before. And so this is energy that says and that asks you and encourages you to summon your own bravery, but also to strive to be honest with yourself about what you need. And the thing is, we are social creatures. We need people. And whether it is we need them uh, in order to expand the possibility of opportunities in our life, uh, whether we need them to expand the possibilities of prosperity in our lives, or whether we need them to feel well within ourselves, to feel well and whole in terms of having a rich personal life. It is other people that we need. The most independent soul will need other people. And that may be part of the realization that you have now. So there is gonna be new opportunities to connect with new people. And this in turn will, in the fullness of time, 
allow more and more blessings to open up to you. And even immediately with Venus here, there is the sense of blessing, but it is going to require you to overcome some resistance at first. It is going to be about a week into the month that Jupiter will speak with Venus. Uh, I think that that is going to be when you start to see the benefit of what at first you may resist with this new moon. Now, as we navigate to the middle of the month, that is when we are going to have this month's full moon. Now, this full moon is an interesting one as well. It is happening across the sky from Venus and from Mars. Now, Venus and Mars are in this friendship part of your sky. And it is this full moon that is happening in fellow air sign Aquarius. Now that is energy that you can use that much more to your advantage, but this is ultimately a part of the sky that has to do with being true to yourself, listening to your heart, trusting what you're passionate about, trusting what your heart is telling you about where it is that you are meant to go or what it is that you are meant to do. And there might be a part of you that is looking at the people that you are aligned with and wondering if they fit into what it is that you are feeling inspired to do or change for that matter. And I think change is really key here because in the days leading up to that full moon, there are powerful things happening in the sky. We are going to have two big planets changing directions. Jupiter will go direct and Uranus will go retrograde. And so the days leading up to that full moon with Uranus especially standing still in the sky and Uranus having a correspondence, a connection to this full moon, given that it is its ruling planet. Well, it means that it isn't just about the full moon, but what Uranus is doing and where Uranus is, well, it is speaking to what is happening in terms of this connection you may feel and this truth that may be coming forward in your heart. Now Uranus is in a part of the sky that in addition to the things I already spoke of, it has to do with being very honest with yourself and realizing where it is that you are ready to do the work that change requires. So put these together. It starts off in the early part of the month related to other people, but then we get to the middle of the month and this sense of change and transformation and inner reflection it becomes more focused towards you and your truth and what it is to know your own heart and to trust it. This can be a powerful turning point for you. I do feel as I look at this that for some, this is gonna mean compromise with other people, uh, compromise and considering other perspectives and talking things out can be part of this. But for others of you, it's gonna be weighing whether or not certain people still fit in with what it is that you feel you are meant to do at this point. And as part of that, there might be a desire to limit or restrict uh, connections, communications with certain people at this time. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's forever and ever, because of course Uranus is going retrograde, turning within, which means that in the fullness of time, once we get into next year, Uranus will return to where he is right now under the light of this full moon. And so chances are it's not forever and ever, but if it is that you know, based on the journey that you're on, that you need to limit contact with certain people, it's okay to practice that level of self-care. For others though, it may be that a friend has a certain perspective that maybe you need to take to heart. Maybe it is that as a result of your uh, involvement in a group dynamic, you are growing in ways you hadn't expected and this is something that you need to understand more deeply as part of becoming this more authentic version of you. So it's a powerful time in the middle of the month, but because this full moon is in fellow air sign, you're able to tap into this energy and thrive. Now it is at the end of the month that we have this beautiful new moon playing out that I'm so excited about. I feel like this is gonna be a big high point moment for you. This new moon, is happening hand in hand with Venus, Mars, and Mercury. So there's a lot of very concentrated energy here. And what this means is that what is transpiring isn't just about one area of life, but chances are it is going to speak to many areas of life. But more importantly, this new moon is speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. Now that is something I am really excited about that I'm really looking forward to, because I think that that beautifully harmonious connection 
is one of luck. It is one of surprise. It is one of possibility. It is one that says things can change. They can change very quickly in ways that delight you. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with closing karmic ties, ending karmic chapters, knowing what it is that has served its karmic purpose in your life. It has to do with karmic blessings as well. And it has to do with creating space for the new and the next to find you. Now, this is such important energy uh, for a few reasons. So one is, this is necessary, this sense of cleansing and creating space, because what it means is a month later, more specifically for you next month in the month of September, I'll be telling you all about the new moon in your sign. That's going to be your personal new year. And when we have that happen, it's almost as if in order for the universe to allow all the wonderful new things that can find you at that time, it needs to set the stage by making space now. And that's what is transpiring with this new moon. Now think about all the times when something ended and you were like really glad it was over you were really really grateful you just felt like oh thank god that situation that is over that person is gone the, you know people places things situations um conundrums that you find yourself in which we all do as part of moving through our world um, when they're over there is a lot of relief there's a lot of gratitude and even happiness sometimes celebration as well you may have that type of elation taking place at this time. Now, the other layer of this, as I said, it's good karma finding you as well. Uranus, as I said, is in a financial part of your sky. So this can be some good karma in terms of uh, some prosperity coming your way that does find you at this time. That's one possibility of how it is that this energy can work out for you. But regardless, this is going to be an important moment for you, a moment of reflection, certainly, but a moment of truth and a moment where you get to look at what's really within you and how deep it is your transformation goes. And chances are what you find, you will love. Now, where it comes to matters of love, that full moon in the middle of the month is going to be an important one as it is connected to matters of heart, uh, flirtation, romance, what it is that you're really wanting in terms of love, as well as the other things that I mentioned. So that is going to be a powerful one. But we have another energy and that is Uranus, okay? So Uranus is the ruling planet of this full moon. And Uranus, of course, moving through a part of the sky that has to do with intimacy. It has to do with knowing another person more deeply than you have before. And so if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, I feel like it really is that full moon that is going to take center stage. You may very well connect with someone new at this time. They may be connected to a friend uh, or uh, someone as part of a group dynamic, but at the same time, there might be some resistance. There may be a need to pace yourself in some way. And I say that because um, of the fact that these Venus and uh, Mars, these planets are standing across the sky from this full moon. So it's almost as if you are seeing the love, seeing the attraction, but you understand that there's a need, uh, whether it's to compromise, whether it's to consider other perspectives or in some way to hold back just a little bit, that sense may be there. But at the same time, there's also this sense of wanting something real, wanting true intimacy, wanting something more profound, uh, given what Uranus is doing this month under the same sky, that can also be part of what is encouraging you to take things in a more measured way. For those of you who are just getting to know somebody, I think that full moon is gonna be very powerful. There's a sense of honest evaluation at this time as to what this person is offering you, where it is you believe you are with this person, if you feel that there's anything that's gonna be happening here or not. And it's a time of being really honest with yourself as well. For some of you, it is going to represent a moment where you are willing to compromise you are willing to consider their perspective as you move forward. But for others of you, it's going to be a time when you see that their perspective is really different. Maybe what they're wanting is really different and that will lead you to make a different choice 
perhaps deciding to go in a different direction. For those of you in an established bond, what a powerful time it is. I do think that that Uranus is going to be the more dominant energy. As much as that full moon can speak to a desire to feel more connected or to enjoy your partner more, it is ultimately that Uranus that is going to speak to an awakening of intimacy a desire to want to be more vulnerable, uh, to go to a deeper layer with your partner emotionally, uh, to be known more deeply by each other. That is part of what can show up for you at this time. I also think with this energy that there tends to represent honesty, um, a searing honesty that can take place between the two of you, especially just the days leading up to that full moon and Uranus is changing directions. That really is the powerful time frame there where chances are there is going to be some sense of a, a deeper connection or at least a, a deeper reflection of the bond the two of you share. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is so much here, but I am going to say that new moon at the end of the month. I really think that that is the high point for just about everybody out there of all signs because that is such a beautiful and harmonious new moon. There are new possibilities. And the thing is that this is an energy that you, of all signs, that you need to go out there and make something happen or try to connect with someone. None of that. This is about the good just showing up for you, the good finding you based on the good that you've already put into place. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.